Good morning. It's fucking freezing in my apartment. Um, it's early. It's not that early. Me and Omar got up at six again. Isn't that right, Omar? So I walk. He went to the bathroom. He ate breakfast, and then he went back to sleep. And then I did not go back to sleep. Ugh. I did just drop the my Adidas codes online, so you probably should check your email if you haven't already. Uh, you might have a code in there that lets you customize an Ultra Boost if you signed up. I gave mine away on Twitter just now. So today we're about to have this online drop here in about. 40 minutes or so. Gotta do some errands. Gotta pack and get ready to go to Dallas. Dallas Sneaker Con is Saturday. I leave tomorrow. Baby Omar is staying here. He's, I don't know what the plan is for today. Shop is getting ready for the party, so there's gonna be a lot of organizing and hanging and stuff like that at the shop today. I'm gonna try and get down there and help them, but I really don't know if I have time. We're gonna look at some shoes. And is my microphone on? Yes, microphone's at least on now. And what else is happening? That's it. That's all that's happened so far this morning. I just got a text. I'm gonna check it. Holy shit. You guys fucking cleaned out that drop. Yo, mystery bags literally went, Omar, did you hear? Mystery bags went in like seconds, literally seconds. I think 30 seconds and everything but small was pretty much sold out. Like that was pretty crazy. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the support. Mystery bags are gonna be a nice surprise. Guaranteed to get at least one shirt in every bag. You've already won, you know? Some of you are gonna get hooked up. Pretty awesome. Some of the bags are really nice. Good luck to you. As always, love, love, love that you guys support everything I do. Making these videos takes a lot of time, money, and energy, so thank you. And yeah, so I am once again waiting for the smoothie spot to open because I'm addicted to smoothies. I should probably start just making them instead of buying them. Can you chill? Omar, Omar. And then yesterday, uh, because the mic was off, for this part when I unbox these. Shout out to Roar. So everybody knows I drink a lot of soda. A lot of people tell me I should stop. I agree, probably not the best thing for me. Um, I do just really like the bubbles. I'm telling you, I love bubbles. I drink bubble water a lot too because I love bubbles, man, you know? So, but yeah, shout out to them for sending me these. These are awesome. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite things right now. The death soda. My connect, my plug at Roar. Hooked me up, sent me a couple of little boxes of these so I can drink these more often. They're actually really good. I wouldn't tell you they were good if they weren't good. This shit is fire and I'm gonna drink the shit out of it. Hopefully I get my own flavor. That's the goal. Raw Organic, if you're down, you're down. They got a website, uh, 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 RoarOrganic.com. So yeah, if you're into that, get some. If you're not, drink soda and feel like shit. Sometimes I really do feel like shit from drinking too much soda. But that's how it goes. So, it is huh. washing machine's done. I'm tired, man. Omar's been getting me up so early. And then he just goes back to sleep. Look at this shit. I get up at 6 a.m. My man's over here. What do you do? Just sleep. I don't even care. Those days where I just have this dude's car alarm outside. Doing a really good job of uh, deterring people, it looks like. You know, it's been going off for 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna go out there and steal his fucking car just to prove a goddamn point. That's what I'm gonna do. Vlog will be lit. So, I'm gonna hang out, not drink soda, and um, probably go get some tacos though, because I'm really, I know it's not a salad, and I really need to get back on the salad grind hard. Um, I was on it pretty hard when I got home, but the past couple of days, I've been eating quite a bit of pizza. Now I really want some tacos, and I'm about to go to Dallas, so we all know the food's gonna be ridiculous. Diet starts tomorrow, I guess. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get out of here. Just a little update, you know, it's a vlog. We gotta pack you a weekend bag, son. Daddy's gotta go on a trip. I know, I don't wanna leave. I don't wanna go without you. I don't, but you're gonna have a good time. Quick ass trip to Houston, or not Houston, Dallas. Quick trip to Dallas. And then maybe by the time LA SneakerCon gets here, you'll be big enough to go. I'll take you to LA maybe. We'll see, that'd be cool. I really don't want to leave. I really, I mean, I want to come to SneakerCon. I'm excited for SneakerCon, but I really don't want to leave him. Like, I have a little anxiety about it. But, um, so I'll be okay though. Uh, and so will Omar. But, gotta do what you gotta do. All right, let's pack your little bag, son. Let's pack all your treats and stuff for tomorrow. What do you think that little Louisiana? Oh, I just got a text. I've got to 
All right, so this room, of course, is still in shambles, and I was gonna try and pull out all the parlays that I have to show you, and of course, one of them is the very bottom box on this big ass stack. So, could have excuses any to organize this room again and get everything at least in one section uh, so that there's full transparency here. This is what the other closet looks like in bathroom. <laughs> I know, your girlfriend's freaking out right now. I'm gonna have to get all this stuff up because the private label bag is buried underneath that shit. And I'm trying to take just the private label bag with me to Dallas. If I can fit all my, cause I'm only taking two pairs of shoes. I'm gonna be there for two days, literally. The shoes I'm wearing, not technically wearing right now, but the shoes I wear to the airport, one pair of shoes for the bag. Hopefully I can fill the rest up with a change or two of clothes, laptop, chargers, cameras, fuck. I don't know if all this shit's gonna fit. We'll see, all right, we're gonna try. But right now, I haven't done anything as far as food goes for the day, and I'm still craving tacos. And if you crave tacos, more than an hour, probably deserve tacos. So I'm gonna go get tacos. Oh, look at how sleepy you are. So it's a sleepy baby. Network ever. You can stay asleep while I get tired. One that keeps I think you connected okay. to what matters most. <sighs> Shoes. I, for the life of me, cannot eat some chips. I cannot find the first parlays. I have no idea where they are. I search for the box. I feel like I didn't bring that box home. I feel like that's one of the boxes that got thrown away originally. So I kind of feel like maybe they're just stuffed in another box somewhere, I don't know. But what I do know is I cannot find them. So, whatever. Um, what we did get in yesterday was the new parlay pack and I brought out the other parlays that I can find to show you the difference. So, these are all 12 and a half. Parlay does not come in a 13. Well, some parlays actually have come in a 13, but it's pretty rare to find a 13. There are some, I have seen them. So, you know, 12 and a half is a little easier to obtain, so 12 and a half it is. Friends and family parlay, the one that you had to win, did not get made in a 13, it only went up to a 12. So that's why I won't ever have that shoe, most likely. They also fit really tight if you ask anyone who has them and wears them. They're a, a weird fit, so. We're not gonna go for those because it just doesn't exist. These are the new cage parlays, what the shoe looks like. Dun, 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 dun. So in the cage version, the big difference is the cage. This is an all white cage and it's made of that similar marine netting. I, no, I really don't know what it is, but it definitely has like, definitely has a netting to it. Just like the previous pair had, which is kind of a draw to the shoe, I feel like, um, or one of the main draws to the shoe, aside from the fact that it's made from recyclable, recycle, recycle, Recyclable, recyclable, recyclable materials. That's a hard word to say. You know, 11 plastic bottles per shoe, apparently. Back here, back heel, heel, blah, 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 blah. the back heel cap? No. The back heel cup. The heel cup is got the wave pattern going on to represent the ocean. How many waves? One, two, 11. The plot thickens. Maybe the each stripe, each little strip represents one bottle. That would be sick. I don't know. Um, I take the insoles out because they're 12 and a half. But if you have to know, if you just can't live without seeing them, this is the insole. Came with the sticker. It says for exclusive content, yada yada. Scan the QR code. And then an Ultra Boost one on that. Side. Same for the uncased. Gotta take out the insoles. I mean, I guess you could still go true to size. Like, I feel like my 13 would be fine. Fine. These are like kind of a half size down. They're not bad. They're not that snug. Parlays just seem to fit tighter. I don't know what it is. It's got to have something to do with the materials that they're, you know, that they're, uh, whew, including? Is that the word we want? No. The materials they're using, that's boring. The materials that they are incorporating, there we go, uh, into the new prime knit for the parlays, just having it be made of recyclable material. One of the other things I really like about the shoe is the parlay tab across the front. You could put your laces in there if you want to. Yeah, and then boost, of course, and then the crispy clean white sole that some people hate because it gets super dirty, but that's how it is. Just white laces that come with it as well. And then the upper on this, all prominent upper is white with ocean blue all digitally peppered into the 3.0 pattern. Goes into prominent into tongue. Nice pattern in the tongue. And then of course the heel prominent. Also just like all the ultra boosts after most 2.0s. That's all she wrote. So that's the parlay. 
I think your true size is probably okay, but um, you know, some people are like reporting that it's really just, they don't really like how these fit. They're a little tighter, but also with anything prime knit, it does tend to stretch as you wear it. So I think your true size is fine. If you have to half size down, you might notice it's a little tighter than normal, but at the same time, it's not like toe breaking or anything. So that's the uh, caged version. And then let's see, this is the comparison of the cage versus the cage. Pretty fucking opposite, you know? Um, not even really like close at all, you know, other than them both being ultra boost, but the colors are basically flipped on inside out. Caged, the caged match. And then that brings us to the brother, the ocean friend, uncaged. Ultra Boost. I wish I could fucking find the regular one, the first ones. Ah, it's driving me crazy. But this is the uncaged version. Same thing, pretty much same colorway. These are a little darker, has a little more blue in it. Uh, but same exact, pretty much prim premises. I don't know. Same pretty much exact idea. The only difference is obviously it's the uncaged version. If you don't know, we've reviewed a lot of uncaged. We reviewed a lot of them, how they fit. They do tend to fit just a little more snug at first, definitely. This pair in particular is very snug. It's like, I'm gonna have to break them in. This is the snug, like the other ones that I have aren't like this. Um, this one definitely just feels a little bit tighter to me. I don't know what it is and it's definitely not in the toe. It's just right here where they have the reinforced little cage on the inside. That just feels kind of tight and the heel just felt kind of tight when I put it on. But again, all white, upper, Hey, Omar, chill, okay? Uh, the ocean blue digitally peppered in into the uncaged fashion. It's a little bit different. Kind of mosaics through the shoe. Uh, three stripes that you can barely fucking see on the toe box. And of course, white laces and then the sock collar. Same kind of heel cup with our new Theorize 11 bottles. Each line represents one bottle. This is definitely like, this shoe is tight, you know, so... Um, I do think that it'll break in, but I would, if I could personally get a 13 in this shoe, which I don't think I could, I still think half sizing up and being able to leave the insole in would be cool. So your true to size could probably work, but you might beat me afterwards and be like, yeah, these are kind of tight, but that's okay. You know, shoes, they loosen, you know, you just got to give them all loosen up. That's the uncaged and then uncaged versus uncaged. Pretty much the same. Looks like this right here. Again, completely flipped in colorway, but same same animal. You know what I'm saying? Blues. Cut the blues. So that's what they look like. Uh, uncaged parlay pack. Here you go. We'll see if we can get all of them in here. Let's see if we got this one. Grab this other shoe out of here. These are all the parlays that we have currently. Ha! Alright. Peace. Headed to Dallas.